I mean, the thing about anger, look at it physiologically. You know, what does it do to you? The heart problem, the kidney problem, the liver problem, etc. Physiologically, it's more damaging than cholesterol. It kills more people than cholesterol and heart attacks worldwide. So anger is a bigger cause of death than cholesterol and heart attacks put together. Once you start getting this sort of scientific information, you think, oh my goodness, I must do something about this. But don't go too quickly to the second one unless you've got that strong conviction, I must. You know? And then the determination, I will not give up. So once you've decided I'm going to change it, why would I give up? Because I'm giving up on myself. And I'm giving up on others. That's important. Right? For some people, the greater motivation is, I'm giving up on myself. For others, the greater motivation is, I would be giving up on others, my family, my friends. So decide what your motivator is, and keep reminding yourself of why you're doing it. I mean, anger is particularly difficult to change because every time you go back to anger, you gather together what we call in Buddhism imprints, seeds of negative behavior. Right? So, for instance, um, Seven days ago, six days ago, five days ago, four days ago, three, two, one, today. Anger, negative seeds, negative seeds, negative seeds, negative seeds, like this. So just think on a daily basis, irritability, anger, just planting these seeds in your garden. You're planting the seeds in the garden, okay? Because all of this is similar, irritability and anger, then here we can gather together all of this and then it suddenly becomes one big reaction because of the karmic imprints. So the, the habituation, the imprints gather together because they're similar in relation to the condition the person, the situation, whatever it is. And then there's a reaction. But don't you find that sometimes the reaction is out of proportion? And you think, but why? <laughs> you know, this is a small thing. Why am I screaming and shouting and whirling my arms? You know, like the, I think of the robot. I don't know if you ever saw Lost in Space. There was a space program years and years ago, one of the first on TV, and there was this huge robot, round, Robbie. you know? Huh? Robbie, the name of the robot is Robbie. Ro Robin? Yeah. Was it? Robbie. And he used to whirl his arms. He used to say, danger, danger, you know? I, th I think when you're gathering all these imprints together, you should be saying, danger, danger, because the reaction is too much. So where does the rage come from? You know, you go home and the dishes are in the sink. That's it, right? You don't know the dishwasher's broken down, your partner is really sick, etc. You just walk into the kitchen, there's a pile of dirty dishes. And it's 11 o'clock at night and you've been at a horrible meeting where nobody agreed with you, everybody hated you. Uh, you've had a really awful day, you've reached up on that lever and all this came down, etc, etc. Et you know, and all the way home you were driving home thinking, what a day, y you know? And how, how you're replaying it, what a horrible day, everybody hates me, I think I hate them too, why do I have to work there, blah, blah, blah. And the mind's becoming more and more negative. And somebody's driving really slowly, you think, bump you know, drive around them, bum, go faster, <laughs> I'll sort you out, you know, drive around them, get home, now the bumper bar is hanging off, well, that just makes my day, doesn't it? You know, at least dinner will be waiting, and you walk in the door, the house is cold, there's no dinner, there's a pile of dishes, you know what I mean? It's like sometimes it all happens at once, and then you get this rage, and afterwards you think, but why? 
It's just that one little thing sets you off. But it's not that one little thing, it's the accumulation of these little things. And that's why over time we need to have control over our minds. We need to be aware. Because is this the person that you want to be?